Opposition House Leader. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the Liberal economic policy can be summed up in four words. Smaller paychecks, higher prices. Smaller paychecks come into effect January 1st when this government takes a bigger bite out of the paychecks that Canadians work so hard to earn. But higher prices are happening right now. Liberal deficits force the Bank of Canada to flood our economy with massive amounts of new money, and that is driving up the cost of everything. There seems to be a problem, probably with the interpretation. Is it working now? Is it's working now. I'll have the honourable member restart. Madam Speaker, the Liberal economic policy can be summed up in four words. Smaller paychecks and higher prices. Smaller paychecks come into effect in the new year when this government takes a bigger bite out of the paychecks that Canadians work so hard to earn. But higher prices are here today. Because of Liberal deficits forcing the Bank of Canada to flood our economy with money, prices are at record highs. And hardworking moms and dads picking up groceries this weekend for the Thanksgiving meal are in for a sticker shock. Turkey is up 15 percent. Potatoes are up 22 percent. Those prices are going to rise even further after the government triples, triples, triples its carbon tax. So why won't this government give Canadians a break and cancel their plans to triple the carbon tax? Madam Speaker, I have four words for Canadians. We have your backs. We've doubled the GST credit thanks to the Conservatives who flipped their idea to oppose us. Now they're supporting us. And guess what, Madam Speaker? They can see the light once again, and they can vote for dental supports. They can vote for housing supports. And I have four more words. Do the right thing. Vote for our bill. <laughs> the Honourable Official Opposition House Leader. They've got their hands in Canadians' back pocket, taking more and more out of the paychecks that Canadians work so hard to earn. And prices are continuing to rise because of this government. Any relief that Canadians may hope to experience will evaporate in a very short period of time as inflation continues to hurt Canadian families. So once again, we know that inflation is caused by Liberal deficits, and we know that prices are going to go up even more when they triple, triple, triple the carbon tax. So an easy way to help Canadians with the cost of living crisis that the costly coalition has caused is to cancel their plans to triple the carbon tax. Yeah. Will they do? Our Minister of Tourism. Madam Speaker, in the middle of a global pandemic, with heat in the air caused by global warming, the residents of Edmonton Centre, in the middle of the last election, said to me, please fight climate change. The number one thing, every day on the doors. We've already got a 9% reduction in emissions in 2020. The plan is working. But I can tell you, Madam Speaker, the number one thing that the Conservative opposition could do to help Canadians is to vote for C31. I, I just want to remind members, I was able to clearly hear the official opposition House leader a while ago, but I, I was having difficulty hearing the answer from the Minister of Tourism. There are other opportunities to ask questions or make comments during question uh, period, and I would just ask members to, unless they're being recognized, to please hold on. Uh, the Honourable Official Opposition House Leader. It's because, it, it's because Conservatives care about the environment that we fight the carbon tax because it does not work, Madam Speaker. They have missed every single one of their emissions targets, but they are succeeding in making high, uh, prices go even higher. Gas prices in markets across Ontario have riv risen 16 cents in just two days. Now, that is making it even more difficult to attend Thanksgiving dinners as Canadians have to pay more to drive home or to fly. How much more will Canadians have to pay after they triple, triple, triple the carbon tax? Madam Speaker, the Conservative opposition has a golden opportunity to provide a Thanksgiving gift to Canadians mm. and to half a million Canadians who would benefit from the dental supports that we have put on the floor of this House. Madam Speaker, what is it that the Conservative opposition has against kids in Canada getting dental care? Madam Speaker, they can see the light, they can do the right thing, they can vote for the bill and support Canadian families. Here, here. The Honourable Member for Louis Saint Laurent. Madam Speaker,
the major problem for all families is inflation and they have they've had to reduce their grocery budget to deal with it the worst thing you can do is increase taxes and payroll taxes but this government wants to triple 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 the carbon tax in quebec we have a carbon exchange can the government clearly tell quebecers what impact the triple liberal carbon tax is going to have on their pocketbooks you know 